Hey everyone, this is Jen from Crystal Guidance and I wanted to bring you a crystal comparison of rainbow moonstone versus regular moonstone. Sometimes there's a little bit of confusion between the two, so I thought I would put them side by side so you can visually see the difference. First off, they are a part of the same family. They are both feldspars. Moonstone, regular moonstone, is an orthoclase, whereas rainbow moonstone is a paleoclase. Rainbow moonstone is actually white labradorite. So these would be considered more like siblings, labradorite and rainbow moonstone, whereas the two different types of moonstones would kind of be more like cousins. That's kind of how I put it so that, you know, you know they're in the same family, but they are different. You can tell that Rainbow Moonstone has those flashes we have come to know and love from Labradorite. Oftentimes, you will notice that in Rainbow Moonstone, it also has inclusions of black tourmaline. Not always, but it is pretty common. Show you this raw piece. I'm not usually one for raw pieces. This one's actually my mom's. She let me use it for this video because you can really see well in this piece, the black tourmaline. You'll notice the flash here. Let me see if I get it. There we go. You can see the flashes, which is labradorescence in polished pieces and when they're wet is when you can see them easier. You'll notice in there this little piece that is a blue tourmaline. You can sometimes find blue blue green tourmaline in the rainbow moonstones. In addition to black tourmaline you can also sometimes find smoky quartz inclusions in the rainbow moonstone. Now, in addition to that, Rainbow Moonstone is not the only one that can have the smoky quartz inclusions. The Orthoclase Moonstone can as well. That is known as Zebradorite. So, either one you can sometimes find them with smoky quartz inclusions. As I mentioned, a lot of times it'll have the black tourmaline, but not always. You can tell that it is the rainbow moonstone. <laughs> I lost my words for a moment. Based upon those blue, or sometimes I've noticed they can have a pink hue, orangey, but usually you'll notice it's a blue flash of colors. Regular Moonstone is not going to have that. Sometimes Opalite can be sold as Moonstone. It is definitely not. You'll notice my piece has a bubble in it. It is glass. It is man-made. You notice how it has a glow to it. Moonstone and Rainbow Moonstone will not have that glow. Turn off the light because I think you could see the glow a little better this way. See, there you go. Moonstone is not going to have that look to it. So that's kind of something to keep an eye out for. If it has that glow, that is opalite. Again, man made. Now, as for the Orthoclase Moonstone, as you'll notice, it comes in a wide variety of colors. I'll zoom in a bit and then bring them up to the camera too. You've got whites, creams, peaches, grays, blacks, <laughs> all kinds of colors. Usually, Moonstone will have a shiller to it. It'll have that sheen and shine and they are jumping. <laughs> it 
it's not always. Let's see, I believe this is the one. Nope, it's this one. That has a good shine to it. There we go. Sometimes they can have a little sparkle, but that's a part of their shiller. You'll notice a lot of times they can have multiple colors in them as well. Oop. I'm going to be dropping a few here and there. I need a second hand, or I guess a third hand. <laughs> I definitely believe in seeing is learning, so hopefully seeing some of these are going to help you guys to recognize them. See, there's that beautiful sheen. It is not always in every piece, and some of them show off more than others, but it is often there. It's because of that sheen and the look that the moonstones have, that they are called moonstone, because it reminds people of, you know, the sheen of the moon. So, Moonstone is actually more of a trademark name. It's just what we all know it as. So, Moonstone and Rainbow Moonstone, even though it's really more orthoclase and white labradorite. Here's another one that has some of those smoky inclusions, and then you see that shiller shining there. Some of them have more of a smooth look. Like this one, see that beautiful shine, and the light's helping, but believe me, that shines even without the light on. Versus this one that looks like it's got more of the striations. And there are different colors in the black. You'll also notice that sometimes the black and gray moonstones can have in there bits of peach or cream coloring. Look at that shine. I will be doing a video that compares black moonstone with a few others. I'll get to that in a second. Sometimes the crystal larvakite is referred to as black moonstone, black labradorite, but larvakite's its own crystal. So in a future video, I will be comparing larvakite, black moonstone, Labradorite, Hypersthene, and Indigo Gabbro, which is also known as Mystic Merlinite. Since they can all have those flashes and look somewhat similar, I believe in putting them together so you can see the differences. And those beautiful shines. So, you'll notice their shines are quite different. So these are the moonstones and how you can tell them apart. Um, since they are related, they both have a white streak. They both have a hardness of six to six and a half, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. So they're, those ways, chemically, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. This is more to give you a visual so that you can see them. Um, other than that, it's getting into their chemical composition, which obviously, if you're somebody who doesn't have a test kit or anything like that, you're not going to be able to tell. But visually, you have the little signs to look for to know if it's actually an opalite, to know if you have the rainbow moonstone, which is white labradorite, or if you have the orthoclase moonstone in any of its colors. Oh, speaking of, I wanted to show you'll notice the black moonstones. Some people um, will call the gray ones black moonstone. Some of them will call them silver. Kind of varies. There is black black. That one's very black. And then the silvers. So it's a variety of colors that you can find. Okay, that is the moonstones. I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of how to tell them apart how to know what you've got. So if you have any questions, if you are wanting to have a different comparison video, 
drop a comment below. I respond to everything. I'm looking forward to shooting more of these. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash crystal guidance. I am putting up videos weekly, so I hope you enjoy what's here and what's to come. Sending you guys so much love and crystal blessings.